My name is Jesse Hum. I'm a fourth year philosophy major, and I'm also a McCall McBain scholar. Mark Fabian, postdoctoral fellow at the Goodman Cancer Center, working on microRNAs at the molecular level. I am AJ Nam. I'm a third year law student, and I'm interested in the rights and welfare of Philippine migrant workers. Well, I first met Jesse when he took my large introductory class. This is a class I give almost every fall term, and it gets about 200 students. So usually the students, they're often in their first year, they're a little tentative. I don't get to know that many of them because they don't speak up. But then I noticed this tall, very intelligent, very well-spoken student who would ask these excellent questions in class, and he was writing these really good papers, and then he actually would come and see me in my office. That turned out to be Jesse, and that was how I got to know him. When I graduated from high school in the States, I had applied to a bunch of American universities, and I was accepted to a lot of these schools, but when I got the acceptance letter, it also had the tuition statement, and they were anywhere from thirty to $45,000 per year. It meant that I was going to graduate with a lot of debt if I had chosen to go to one of those schools, so I took an entire year off, and I volunteered in an elementary school in California, and during that time, I applied to a different set of universities. McGill was one of those schools, and when I was accepted, I also found out I got the McCall and McBain Scholarship. That scholarship really opened the door to go to McGill to leave the United States and come to Montreal. Compared to a lot of my friends in, back home, I, they're all graduating now and a lot of them have thousands and thousands of dollars of debt. And luckily I'm debt free because of the scholarship. We are able, uh, luckily, to attract top American students like Jesse, um, I think because even students who could, if they chose, go to the very best American institutions, figure out that at McGill they can get an excellent education with outstanding fellow students, and on top of that, get the excitement and the broadening experience of living in Montreal being in a real world university with students from all over, not just from the US, but from all parts of Canada and across the globe, uh, and students who are open to that kind of broadening experience, that kind of adventure, we're very, very lucky to be able to attract them to our campus. After completing my doctoral studies at York University in Toronto, I decided to come to McGill to pursue a, a postdoctoral work with Dr. Nachum Sonnenberg at the Cancer Center. And we're trying to better understand how microRNAs function in our cells in order to develop new types of treatments and potentially diagnose cancers earlier on. Moving into the brand new Goodman Cancer Center at McGill uh, has given us a, a larger space to work in with a lot of new hardware and machinery to make our research move along at a faster pace. Uh, the facility has been filled with an array of different types of researchers and the open space environment means that we can collaborate with these researchers in a much more friendly environment. This building would not have been possible without private donations. What they allow us to do is to build the building, uh, buy new equipment, equip the new laboratories with the latest advances in technology for cancer research. Our scientists that works here for many years and are internationally renowned are sought by many different laboratories around the world. And the fact that we're improving the facility, bringing new equipment, making this place much competitive and much more attractive, uh, ensure that uh, they remain in Quebec, they remain at McGill University, and this is a great benefit for McGill, Quebec, and Canada. This is a photo of me and my mom. Her name is Frances, she's from the Philippines. She came to Canada as a live-in domestic worker. And while she was here, she had a lot of difficult experiences and struggled a lot. And it's because of her that I was really inspired to go into law and to advocate for domestic workers. A lot of these women uh, experience a lot of exploitation. And so what I'm doing is looking at some legal tools we can use to better protect these women's rights. 
This past summer, I went to the Philippines for the first time, and it was only through a very generous grant from the McGill Center for Human Rights and Legal Pluralism. It was a really great experience. I did excellent work with migrant workers' rights and also with uh, women's rights in the Philippines. I came to know me at uh, a workshop uh, organized by Filipino women students at McGill. May did a very good and, and very valuable work for us, connecting the community to McGill University. It's been through May that we're able to also get other Lu students, her classmates, to come to the center and do some pro bono legal clinic at our center. My trip to the Philippines really reinforced my commitment to my community here in Canada. When I finish law school, I would like to be an advocate, a lawyer for disadvantaged people and especially with migrant workers. Um, part of where I'm going really has to do with where I've come from. The opportunity to come to Montreal and attend a world-class university. The infrastructure and equipment we need to find a cure for cancer. The support I need to advocate for the disenfranchised. The time I need to focus on my studies and get involved in campus life. The resources I need to continue searching for a medical breakthrough. The opportunity to combine my studies with my passion for hockey. The chance to travel to the Middle East to study how people are coping with water scarcity. The means to combat disease in developing countries for better global health. 